Did you watch Raquel Gonzalez Rodriguez de la Molina Jr. Mascaris versus Ronda Rousey? De Molina Jr. Uh, yes, I yes. did. I watched at least the end of it. She looks great, Raquel, I'm talking about now. And she seems to have improved a lot. And I know because Ronda Rousey's matches have been dog shit awful, right? But this wasn't bad. And Raquel, see, she can show her strength like a female Dr. Death Steve Williams. Doc wasn't the best bench press, but he could show his strength in a wrestling context better than most people. And, you know, Raquel was doing a variety of things that, and she's got that big wide back spread. But finally, Rousey had an arm submission on Raquel while, and was straddling her shoulders while Raquel was standing on a second turnbuckle. And Raquel fell backwards to try to get Rhonda off, but in the process landed in the arm lock and hurt her arm and hurt herself and tapped out. That wasn't a bad fucking finish. And I'm thinking at least, you know, Rousey has just been not been very rousing lately, but that was, wasn't a bad match. And I guess they're going to keep the belt on Rhonda is what I was thinking, but Raquel's looking good. And all of a sudden music and here comes Charlotte. As soon as Rhonda had started to talk, and thank God we didn't have to hear much of that. And that was a, it, Charlotte's over. And they didn't know she was going to be there. So she got the surprise pop and the return pop. And when she gets in the ring, you just look at Charlotte. And then you look, if Rhonda Rousey did not have the name and reputation that she had from the MMA world and from the UFC, she wouldn't be on television because you get there. Charlotte's a star and there's Rhonda. And I was first one to admit that Ronda Rousey was a big fucking name when she first started this thing. And she deserved that debut at WrestleMania, but between cooling off and just looking like she doesn't give a shit. And that was where this, <laughs> Charlotte comes out and the people are roaring and they're up and she gets in the ring and they're face to face. And Rhonda not only botches the promo like 30 seconds, it, it was all it was to begin with. And she couldn't get that out, but she threw it away. Just like, ah. And then she didn't get the name of the pay-per-view right or whatever the fuck. And then, you know, finally she accepts the challenge that Charlotte makes. And, Charlotte hits her with a big boot to the face, gets a two count, nails Shayna Baszler off the apron, spears Ronda, Ronda rolls through and gets the arm, and Charlotte rolled her up and pulled the tights. One, two, three, just like Flair. New champion, huge pop. Charlotte goes into the crowd to celebrate. The babies go in the air. Hopefully, is this the end of the Rousey experiment? Well, she did return one year ago, because that was the first thought I had. The way this went down, I was like, oh my god, is she done? I don't know if she is or isn't. But she returned one year ago to Royal Rumble, and it's been a bizarre year for someone who did show so much promise, not just in that first match, but at least at times during that first run. Yeah, and then to come back like, ah, I, I'm over it. I think that's I think that's it. She fulfilled her, you know... It's like Tony Khan. He always wanted to be a booker, so he bought himself a company so he could be a booker. Ronda Rousey wanted to be a wrestler until she got a little taste of it and had, you know, and, and she wasn't even a goddamn full-time wrestler, but, you know, the first run, okay, then she goes to have kids and raise goats. And I'm not even kidding, folks. Look it up. And then since she's been back, it's like, I don't really care. I don't, eh, I guess they're paying me a lot of money. It just That's the vibe. 